creeping in Warcraft 3 is a fundamental that every player should know. If you have no idea what creeping means, you're at the right place. Even if you know the basics, stick around you might learn something different. Learning how to creep effectively will drastically improve your all-around win rate, and you'll probably have more fun playing the game regardless if you care. There are a few creeping guides I already made that cover some of what I'm going to address. My hope is to tailor this so even newer players can understand it and implement it quickly and easily. Let's get to it. Tip number one, know your fundamentals. First thing is first, when you start any melee game, you'll see on your minimap different colored circles. These are called creep camps. Each color represents different difficulties, green being the easiest, orange being medium, and red being the most difficult. Defeating these camps will reward you with gold, hero experience, and items. As the difficulties of camps get harder, the rewards become better. It usually makes sense to start out at the easier green camps and work your way up as your hero levels and your army gets bigger. As a general rule of thumb, if you're not doing something specific with your units, they should be creeping. The goal will be to creep these camps without losing any units. This is really important. If a unit gets close enough to a camp during the daytime cycle, all creeps will attack the attacker. They will chase their enemy until they are out of their creep range. Most creeps will sleep during the night, indicated by the Z's emanating from their bodies. These creeps won't attack you unless you attack them, allowing you to set up for a better approach. Be careful of golems and bandits, they do not sleep. Sons of bitches. What you may not know is that each color also varies in difficulty. For example, on the map Turtle Rock, this orange camp can be taken down with the hero and a few tier 1 units but this camp requires a bit more firepower. This is best figured out by experience. Tip number two, memorize your creep routes. If you want clear answers of what army can take down which creep camps, start up a custom game versus a computer and try out a creep path without losing any units. You'll want to have a path planned out in your head of where you want to creep. Once you've experimented in a game versus a computer, practice it out versus a human. Human players will sometimes throw a wrench while you're trying to camp, such as trying to creepjack you. Knowing what to do at first may not be so obvious, and there usually isn't a clear answer. But after you've encountered it a few times, you're well on your way to becoming a much smarter player. Tip number three, master the experience mechanics. Here's some details to get you up to speed. Full experience is earned by the hero at each creep kill. All that counts is the last hit to kill the unit. The experience gain does not have a range, so a hero can be across the map and still receive experience from a creep camp. This can allow creeping at multiple camps at the same time. At level 5, heroes will no longer receive experience from creep camps. If there are two allied heroes near a camp, experience is distributed between both of them, even if one is level 5. That means you would lose potential experience gain. If one hero leaves, only the present hero will receive full XP. If there are no close heroes to a camp, experience will be distributed between all of your heroes. Consume creeps will give full experience. Any buildings that kill units will not grant any experience. So if you are creeping with an Ancient of War or Tower, make sure that it doesn't get the last hit. Tip number four, utilize creep spells. Certain creeps will cast spells when certain actions take place. I can't go over every situation without making this video long, but you should know about a few important ones. The mid-level wizards will cast lightning shield when three enemies are touching each other. Two or less will not suffice. This spell will damage every unit around it, including friendly units, so run that unit into the enemies. However, if this spell kills any of the creeps, your hero will gain no experience for the kill. No Warden will cast Purge on the first enemy at attacks. If this is a summoned unit like a Water Elemental or a Dire Wolf, it will pretty much kill them. Some Murlocs and Trappers will ensnare the furthest enemy in range. Tip number 5. Keep your units alive. This is so important. You should not be losing units to creep camps. If you have any summoned units available, use them to tank all the hits of a camp. 
A great way to take off aggro from one of your units is to quickly start attacking one of your units with the one you want to switch aggro. As soon as you notice the enemy switch targets, you can continue attacking the creep without worry. This does not work with level 7 and up creeps. They are smarter and will target the unit with the least amount of current health in range. Creep juggling can be used when you're attacking creeps at their max chase range. When done right, you can focus on killing just a few creeps at a time rather than the whole camp. However, it does take some practice to do correctly though. Hopefully my tips helped you learn something new that you didn't before. If you master these concepts, you will win a lot more games. Just remember to always creep if you aren't doing anything else. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.